Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Rolando. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Brown. Victor. Hello, Victor. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. And Rodrigo, right, Rodrigo? Hi, teacher. Welcome. <coughs> welcome. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Okay, uh, today no PowerPoint presentation, but we're going to work a lot in the platform together, especially, uh, Rolando, the difficult uh, knowledge. Yes, check. knowledge check, knowledge check, la number, ya le digo. Two point, no, four point five or four point six, right? No. No. Uh, four uh -huh. and nine. Four, four point four and, and four point nine. Okay, good. Yes. No problem. Let's do it together, right? Let me see. Opening, 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 opening. Four is. What does? No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Section four, point number four. Mm, no, I guess it's 4.6 and 4. Point no. Because only uh, Rolando. Number six. Number six. Uh -huh, yeah, four I told you. 4.6. 4.6, yes. I told you, because that's the only knowledge check, right? And question four, question four. And 4.13, right? And 4.81. Okay, we're going, to, we're going to see, let me see. The program today is uh, 4.0 to 4.6. Uh -huh. so oh, the class is going to finish on 4.6. Okay. And tomorrow we're going to make 4.8 and eight. Rest. Okay, good. Please. Good, good. Okay, now let's start with the word power, right? Activate. Okay, let's watch, please. Let's watch. A mustache and a beard. Age. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair. Long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay. Now listen, please, and repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. Hair. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Straight black hair. Curly red hair, bald, a mustache, and beard with D, right? Don't be happy, it's with D, beard. <laughs> okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Age, young, middle age. Elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, 
pretty. Height. Short. Fairly short. Medium height. Pretty tall. Very tall, right? So you have character, right? E.T. and this is uh, an actor. The name is, I don't remember the name, right? And this is uh, Marley Monroe de Gomez, right? Uh, this is John Wayne. And this is Frankenstein, Frankenstein, right? So you see the, the adjective, right? Other words we were learning yesterday. We were learning that uh, if you have brown hair, it could be light brown or light uh, or dark brown, right? That is café, eh, café oscuro, café claro, right? Okay. And also we have other word for, for the hair is wavy, ondulado, right? Wavy, W-A-V-Y, wavy, okay? And uh, for the um, looks, so we have cute, cute, right? And ugly, ugly, ugly and cute, right? Also, we have other words to say uh, that someone is delgado or gordito, right? So we have fat, heavy, Fat is offensive, heavy is not offensive. And then we have thin, delgado, right? Slim, that is the same. And skinny, that is very, very slim, very thin, right? Muy, muy delgado, skinny, skinny. There was a song, había una canción viejita que se llamaba Skinny Girls. Skinny girl, skinny girl, skinny girl, skinny girl. I love them, I love them. So it's skinny. It's Super delgadito, right? Like in El Salvador, we say peche. <laughs> okay? Good. I don't know if you have any question about this vocabulary. No, teacher. Thanks. No, no question. Okie dokie. So let's, let's uh, read some commentaries. We have commentaries. Let me see. Oh, yes. We have commentaries. We have time. So Juan Alfonso, my grandfather has a beard because... Uh, how cold it is in Tuscany. Mm. No, I don't understand Juan Alfonso, but I imagine that uh, Tuscany is, is a place, right? Yes, I think that's he's talking about the weather. Uh -huh. cold. The, because it's cold in Tuscany, <laughs> uh, he, he, wear, he wears beer, right? Yeah, I think I, so. I don't know. Well, you can use only a sweater because of beer. Yeah. At, least are, yeah, at least you have a Santa Claus. Santa Claus. I think that's a. I think that when Alfonso right on after of uh, two or three birds. Okay, good. Teacher, nice. thank you. Yes? Me refería a Toscana de Tos Toscana, Italia, Florencia. Oh, excuse me, my goodness. Excellent, Juan Alfonso. Excuse me, Juan Alfonso, you know the place? Yes, in Italy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Yes. My family. I in, uh, Really? Yes. Congratulations. It's true. I thought it was a joke, Juan Alfonso. Oh, you were inventing, but congratulations. Yes, I went to Italy in 2003. Uh, I went to Florence. Florence. Mamma and, mia. And, and then I, I went to... Uh, a museum, the Uffizi, the Uffizi Museum, right, in, in Florence, and I ate pizza in, in Florence. Also, I, I went uh, to check some paintings that they say cento, docento, trecento, cuatrocento. You know, the painting goes according to the century, right? So, oh, my goodness, I still, I still have dreams on, on Florence. It's beautiful. So congratulations, Juan Alfonso, to have your family there in, in, in Tuscana, right? In, next to Florence, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good. Now, Rosa Suya Paguzman. My husband is short, comma, black. Ah, no, no, no. Sorry, it's referring to the hair. Short black hair. Yes. I thought the husband of Rosa was, you know, short. But no, it's, it's not in height. It's only the hair. Short black hair. He's young, handsome, and tall. Very good, Rosa. 
Nice. Happy Marriage. Now, Josué, Josué Campos. Josué Campos. Eh, tiene días de no conectarse Josué, right? Okay, but I have a comentary here. Nice. Uh, I wish... Very uh -huh, Wish. This is uh, Josué... Josué Campos, right? Josué, are you there? Let me see. No, right? No está Josué con nosotros. Teacher. Ajá. Y está en este módulo, porque en el pasado sí, sí estuvo con nosotros. Sí, sí está con nosotros. Estuvo en ah, clase, okay. no se acuerda. Pero, Pero el... mucho trabajo, mucho trabajo tiene, Josué. Pero sí está okay. en la plataforma porque está comentando, miren. Ok. No, no le entiendo aquí. I wish very tall. I wish no. Ah. Short. Eh... Me imagino que quiso poner desearía, ser alto. Quizás, I wish to be very tall. And I wish to know a woman. Should... Quisiera conocer a una chica que fuera bajita. Pequeño. No, no sé. Es lo que le entiendo. Pero sí está usando bien el vocabulario aquí. Rolando Campos siempre. Este Rolando siempre comentando aquí. <risa> <risa> ok, Rolando, let me see. My wife is medium height. Quizás es la preposición, Rolando. Solo se llama, my wife is medium height. And her hair okay. is long and black. Okay, nice. Or you can say, she has she long, has long black hair. Black. Two options. That your sentence is correct, but that's another option, yeah. right? Okay, good. Now, any other, any other commentary? No. Good. So let's go to the video, right? Let's go to the video. She is very tall, the conversation. Listen, please, and watch. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, now let's listen again and repeat, please. Listen again. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen, you will listen to a conversation between two, two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend. Please repeat after me. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two. I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She is, I'm sorry, she has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Now listen to the audio and repeat, please. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Okay, repeat. Yes. Her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. 
How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, now we're going to practice. Practice, 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 right? So, Alejandro, please, can you help me? You're going to be Randy. And Claudia Ramos, you're going to be Emily, right? Ready? Okay, let's practice. One, two, three. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name, her name is Ashley and she is Georgius. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now we're going to go to the second practice, please. We have time. So we're going to practice this, right? And listen the word gorgeous. Gorgeous. Listen, if you want to tell your wife or your girlfriend, right, you can tell, hey, you look gorgeous, right? <laughs> okay. Good. And of course, a bouquet of uh, roses, right? Huh? Please, especially this day, right? <laughs> and of course, one hundred dollars. <laughs> no, no, no. Only, only roses and 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 compliment, right? It's it's good for for, for day. Now, please, uh, let me see who's going to help me. Mm, Brenda and Roberto. Brenda, of course, you're going to be uh, Emily, and Roberto, you're going to be Randy, right? Ready? Okay, the chat. One, ready. two, three. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What, what does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two. I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? Her hair. She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Excellent. Good. Thank you. I like it. I like it. So let's continue, right? Uh, Claudia Castro, uh, you're going to be Emily, and Juan Alfonso, you're going to be Randy, right? Ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I heard you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six, six feet, six and feet to one suppose wow that last that what that is that what color she, is her hair she has beautiful red hair and how long is this i don't is she? Know. Pardon? i don't know she what she was told me she won't tell me right of course it, she will never tell you, right? <laughs> never, right? Okay, come on. I hear. Repeat, please. I hear. I hear. Girlfriend. 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 Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Tall. 
tall, right? And look, this is confusing, right? Because after the two, we have a comma and then we have I, right? But it's about six feet two, about six feet two, I suppose. Okay, and now this, repeat please. How old is she? How old is she? Okay, thank you. Now, uh, who's going to be next? Let me check, uh, Vicky. Yes, Vicky. And, yes, and you and and Hilda, right? You and Hilda. So, okay. ready, Hilda, you're going to be Emily. And Vicky, you're going to be Randy, right? Ready? One, two, three. Okay, teacher. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. Oh, how old is, how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Listen, hair. Hair? Hair. Hair. Hair? Hair, right? Okay, and how old is she? How old is she? Good. Now, uh, who's going to help me? Josue, please. Welcome, Josue. Welcome again. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> long, night, long time no see you, Josue. We were reading your yes. commentary. Congratulations. Por ahí estábamos interpretando. This month, ¿Qué nos quería decir? This month, <laughs> this month is very hard. I imagine. In my work. I imagine. Yeah. I imagine. But thanks, God, you're here at least today, right? So can yeah. you practice the conversation, Josue? Uh, you're going to be Randy. And Irma, please. Irma, you're going to be Emily, right? Ready? Okay, one, two, three. I heard you. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name her her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. How old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, okay. Thank you. Right. And uh, again, this, this is complicated because it's very similar pronunciation. Hair, hair. Hair, hair. Right? Hair. Good. Now, thank you. Now, uh, Rolando, can you help me? Rolando, you're going to be Randy. And Silvia, Silvia Roxana, hello, Silvia, you're going to be Emily, right? Hello, teacher. Hello, yes. hello, welcome. So there you go. One, two, three. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Lee. And she's gorgeous, gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Look like? Well, she very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, does it does it tall? What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And who old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Listen again. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You have to learn this word. Remember, boys, especially the boys, gorgeous. Because you can tell your girlfriend and your, your wife, right? And listen, how old, how old is she? How old is she? How old is he? How old is she? How old are they? Et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, good. Now, who, who's missing? Who's missing? Que me hizo falta? Let me see. Uh, De las chicas, creo que me hizo falta alguien, pero. Let me check. Eh, Rodrigo, did you participate, Rodrigo? Yes, right? Rodrigo? I didn't. Only you in the comments before, in the other ah, screen. Okay, good, good. So, yeah, I did it. Okay, I have good. a question. Hey, tell me, tell me. Eh, gorgeous eh, se puede usar para hombre y mujer. 
o solo mm, no para well, as far as I know only for girls yes okay. because it's eh, eh, glamoroso glamorosa right mm. eh, uh, beautiful you know gorgeous okay. so, so I, 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 I find difficult to say to a man but, <laughs> <laughs> but well, today okay. today we don't know <laughs> yes today we don't know Okay, okay, good. Any other question? Nobody has a question? Okay, now I need you to pay attention in this. Look, what does she look like? Uh, this expression is used uh, to describe only physical appearance, right? Only physical appearance, okay? What do you look like? What does he look like? What do they look like? So you're talking about appearance and then you say, uh, he's tall, they are mus muscular, they are slim. Uh, she has long hair or black, red, uh, short, no, 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 sorry, <laughs> black, short hair, et cetera, et cetera, right? And you can make this question, look, what color is her hair? Or you can say, for example, what color is uh, Roberto's, Roberto's hair, for example? What color is um, uh, Hild, Hilda's hair, for example, Hilda's hair, with the apostrophe in the noun, right, to show possession. So you can say, what color is his hair? What color is her hair? What color is Alejandro's hair? What color is Claudia's hair? Etc. 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 Right, to describe the the color of the hair. Right. Good. Uh, well, let's go now to the commentaries. Let me see, we have commentaries. Okay, um, Juan Alfonso, my name is Juan Carlos Alfonso, right? Uh, I am of Italian descent, I know, Juan Alfonso, yes, today we discovered that, right? It's a surprise for us. Yes, I love Italy. I went in 2003 to Rome, to Florence. It's beautiful, Italy, right now. So my height is average. My eyes are gray and my hair color is, let me see what color, my hair color is light brown. Okay, Juan Alfonso, very good. Rosa Suyapa, it says, what does he look like? Huh? Excellent, so a man, right? Well, he's a small and slim and he has short black hair. Okay. <laughs> When you say small, you have to be careful because you, you can say it's, it's a pitufo, right? But no, no, it's, you, uh, if you talk about height, you, you have to say short, right? Short, it's more like appropriate to say short because if you say small, it's like, you know, like E.T., right? Understand? But the, okay, teacher. Okay, thank you for your commentary, Rosa. Nice, thank you. Rolando, again, Rolando. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Rolando. You know, my name is Rolando. I am on, again, right, average height, short black hair, and the color of my eyes is brown. Mm, that's okay. Oh, you simple can say uh, my eyes are brown, right? Okay, good. And I see this, okay. uh, Rolando, this preposition, I guess it's, it's not necessary. Off. Off. Mm. Okay. Elimination, right? Caput. Elimination. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Tish. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your commentaries. Let's continue, right? Eh, let me see. Estos, estos videos se los debía desde ayer, ¿verdad? No, no nos quedó chance por el trabajo que hicimos todos. Los felicito, por cierto. Excellent job, right? Okay, now we're going to go to the, the more difficult part, right? The video of describing people, right? And the knowledge check. Ready? Okay, here we go. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. 
Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Describing people. General appearance. Okay, so let's go and check it out this slowly, right? Because uh, the, the knowledge check is complicated, so I need we check it very well, right? So general appearance is a general characteristic, right? And you can talk about everything, you know, hair, height, age, uh, uh, what else? Uh, physical condition, if the person is slim, fat, mu muscular, chubby, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, and the question, look like, look like, right? So when you say that someone uh, has a specific characteristic, right? And we're going to say, look like, right? And then here we have uh, the same characteristic that we have here, age, height, and hair. She's tall with red hair, tall, and red hair, height and hair, right? She's gorgeous. You can now that adjective, right? For example, she's beautiful, she's cute, she is attractive, she's very good looking, right? And of course, if you if you want to be offensive, but I don't recommend that, right? You can say she's ugly, but no, right? Don't recommend that. <laughs> uh, then uh, the same for boys, right? He's tall, he's short, uh, he's attractive. For a man, uh, in English, you also use handsome, right? Cute also, you can say cute. He's cute, right? Cute for babies is, is um, beautiful, right? But for, for men and for women, when you say cute, C-U-T-E, you say uh, the person is attractive, right? Then other characteristics, for example, does he wear glasses? Does he, uh, um, does he have, have a beard, a mustache, right? Et cetera, et cetera, right? And let's go to the specific questions about age, height, and hair. How old is she? How old is he? And then she's, you, if you're not, you're not exactly, you can say, She's about 32. Of course, if you know, you can say she's 32, right? 32. And then uh, you can say she is in her 30s, in her 40s, in her 50s, in her 60s, etc., 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 right? Then other things you can say here, for example, uh, she's a baby or she's a, she's a child. She's a teenager, right? Teenager go from 13 to 19 years old, right? So when you describe age, right? Good. Hi. Well, in, in Spanish, <clears throat> sorry, we measure people by meters, right? No feet. But in United States, they use feet. Uh, well, here, for example, we're talking about a woman that is really tall, look. She is one meter, 88. Ooh, come on. Like we say in El Salvador, Barrequete, right? Very tall, right? Last time I told you that I, I am one meter 67. Uh, similar to Leonel, Leonel Messi, me, the teacher. Similar to Maradona, right? 
in one meter 67. But one meter 88 is really tall, right? Okay. And uh, you can say, you know, the words we were using. Uh, short, fairly short, quite short, tall, very tall, pretty tall, etc., etc., right? Okay. Now with the hair, just give me a second. Uh, tengo un mensaje, pero no puedo leerlo. Uh, okay. With the hair, you can. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Ah, ok. Eh, me están diciendo aquí que estoy congelado. ¿Me, ¿Me pueden escuchar? Hello. Hoy sí. Por no un es... momento sí, te congeló, sí, sí. pero ahorita sí lo escuchamos. Es que tengo mucho frío. Frozen, frozen. <risa> tengo mucho frío. <risa> no, no, listen. Eh, es que solo me dijo su internet está estable. Vaya a pagar la factura, decía algo así, no sé. <risa> Eh, solo son segunditos, ¿verdad? Pero gracias, gracias. Eh, ahora todo bien, dice. Ya. Hasta muy rápido se ve, dice. <laughs> ok, good. And then hair, right? Uh, for the hair, we have a lot of condition. Color, if it is short, uh, uh, if it is long, right? Uh, if it is straight, curly, wavy, etc., etc. So you, you have many things, right? So we divide the, the tree, right? In color, form, or, or long. Three things, right? So in color, we have brown, blonde, black, red, right? And in some cases, bold, right? <laughs> like, like Bruce Willis, uh, Toretto, and many, many men that are bold, right? And for length, you know, length is... Largura, right? Short or long, right? Uh, and then we have uh, the way, the form of the hair. It could be curly, like the teacher. <laughs> no, curly, straight, like, like me, right? Straight and wavy, wavy, right? Okay, I'm sorry. So we have this. A characteristic, right? Now we're going to make an exercise. One exercise, right? Uh, we are going to describe people here, right? And we're going to describe people that are not with the camera on. Vamos a describir a los que tienen la, la cámara apagada, right? A los que tienen la cámara apagada, vamos a, a pedirle que la enciendan <laughs> y a ellos vamos a describir, right? Understand? Okay. Vamos a ver quién tiene su cámara apagada. <ríe> ok, let me see. Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Everything is okay with your camera, Rosa? Hi, teacher. E everything is okay with your camera? Yes, uh, okay. but I, I'm cooking right now because. <ríe> ok. Bueno, pero que quede rica esa cena, pues. <ríe> okay. Now, Rodrigo, please. Rodrigo. Can you turn, yes, your, teacher. Can you turn your camera, I, please? Turn on your I camera. Can't, I can't be, oh. I can't because uh, the configuration is bad. It's wrong. Look, Rodrigo, look. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I believe you. I believe you. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Victor. Ya erramos una víctima aquí. Victor, hello. Can Hello, you turn on your, okay. Can you turn on your camera, please, Victor? Teacher, my camera is uh, my phone is broken. Mm -hmm. I will believe you, Victor. <laughs> okay, yes, let teacher. me see. Let me see anybody else. Juan Alfonso. Hello, Juan Alfonso. Yes, can you turn on? No. No, no camera, teacher. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué me falta entonces? Roberto Vendaño. Hello, Roberto. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, the camera is working? Uh, no, no. Uh, ahorita. Okay, good. Excellent, Roberto. Thank you. You see collaborative people. I like that. Okay. Uh, ya se me perdió, Roberto. Déjeme ver. Subir acá. Sorry. 
Ah, aquí estamos, Roberto. Vamos a intentar describirlo, ¿verdad, eh, Robert? Okay, che. Solo que, eh, acá es algo oscuro, no sé si sí, se verá. Sí, sí, pero alcanzamos a... Vamos a decir okay, que su, okay. su, el color de su pelo es negro, ¿verdad, Roberto? <laughs> yes, teacher. Ok, good. Now, let me see. Eh, Rosa, you help me, please. What does Roberto look like, Rosa? Ok. Mm -hmm. He has... He has a short black hair. Uh -huh. And he has a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt, nice. Okay. And, and I suppose mm -hmm. um, his eyes, he... Blue, I, blue. Him blue. <laughs> brown, 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 brown eyes. He has brown eyes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has brown eyes, right? Okay, and how about his, you say his hair is short, right? And his height, Rosa, how tall do you think Roberto is? Medium? He's medium, mid, height. medium height. Medium mm -hmm. height, it's correct, it's correct, medium height. Yes. So medium height is about 170. Roberto, 170 is okay? Yes, teacher. Or 1.7? Uh, no, 1.7, no, come on. <laughs> 1.7. <laughs> 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 no, it's 1.7. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, teacher. That's okay. One meter, one meter 70, right? Okay, thank you. Very good, Rosa. Nice. And thank you, Roberto, okay, to be the model of the night, right? <laughs> but let me see, anybody else? Another big team, come on. Uh, Claudia Ramos, hello, Claudia. Can you help us? Hello. Uh, your camera is working, Claudia? Yes. Yes, okay. Vamos a escribir a Claudia. <coughs> let me see. <coughs> Give me a second. Okay, here, right? Excellent, Claudia. Now, uh, who's going to help me? Josue, can you help me, Josue? Josue Campos. Josue Campos. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. does Claudia look like, Josue? Uh, I think uh, it's <laughs> average weight. Average weight. Ah, okay, good. No, no, uh, no. no. Look, look. Uh, uh, Claudia is thin, right? So it's slim. The, the way the way it is when a person is thin or, or slim, I guess is not very, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, she is a uh, long hair. She has. Um, uh -huh. She has. She, she has a long hair and um, uh -huh. very good black hair. Uh -huh. is, is it sorry, Josue? Is it curly, wavy, um, or straight? Uh, ah, okay. Okay. Straight, straight, straight. Uh, she she has straight hair. Excellent, excellent. Right. Uh, you can, if you want, Claudia, you can walk around <laughs> like a model, right, Claudia? <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I'm 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 I'm, I'm going. Continue, Jose. Okay, she uh, has a t-shirt, a uh, green. Mm -hmm, a green. Blouse? Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, she has brown eyes. Brown eyes? Is true, Claudia? Brown eyes? Okay, good. Good. And uh, this is a very, you have to be careful with this, with this topic also, uh, her age, please. Okay. Uh, I think she has. She is? She is um, 22 or 20, 24. That's okay. I, the same. I think the same. So you can say she is in her 20s or she is about 24, right? She's about 24. Mm -hmm. Claudia, are, are we correct, Claudia? Or... I'm 31. The, oh, 31. Okay. So you look very young. Good. 
And what else? We can say also uh, other other things like she's slim, she's uh, pretty, she's tall, she's no muscular, no right? She etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Another adjective, Josué, please. Okay, she's she's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, very good. That's it, Josué. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for the model, Claudia. Thank you very much. The last one, please. The last one. Let me see. Now I need a volunteer. One model and one person who describe, right? Volunteer, please. Raise your hand. The model. Model. Here we have <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, Rolando, you can, you can make like this, right? <laughs> okay. And who's going to describe Smart. Rolando? Who wants to describe Rolando? Who wants to describe Rolando? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a describir a Rolando? Come on, volunteers. <laughs> Le tienen miedo a mí, Rolando. No, si Rolando uh, no le va a decir nada. Digan, digan que eres colocho. <laughs> no hay problema. <laughs> volunteers. Ok, so I will choose my volunteer, right? Brenda, can you help me, Brenda? Please. Okay. Can you describe Rolando, please? He has uh, glasses. He, uh, he wears? He wears? He wears, he wears glasses. Mm -hmm. um, he has a hair black. Short. He, has, he has black. Short. Short. Black. Short. Hair. Hair. Very good. How old is how old is he? He's he's twenty, right? Estamos ayudando, Rolando. We are here. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. How old is he, Brenda? Forty. Um, Sorry? He's in his thirty. Le están ayudando también, Rolando. Hey, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Lástima que, lástima que no pueden subirle punto, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la característica, Brenda? Por ahí está el bebé. ¿Todo bien con el bebé, Brenda? Sí. 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 Si, no, si no le pedimos a alguien más que nos ayude, no se preocupe. ¿Todo bien? No, no, no. Vale, ok, sigamos entonces. Let's continue. Another adjective, uh, he's tall, he's short, he's medium height, he's handsome. He is medium height. Uh -huh. And he's. He's very handsome. Okay, he looks like Leonardo DiCaprio. Right? <laughs> No, thank you, thank you. Okay. okay. Hey, let me see. Um, I know we say everything, right? Hair, height, and age. Yes. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you very much. And congratulations to be an excellent mother, having classes and taking care of your baby. Nice. Good mother. Okay, class. So, any question? Any question about this? Okay, now let's go to the to the commentaries. Let me see if we have commentaries today. Mm, Hilda, huh? My husband is medium tall. Mm, no, but you wish you we use medium uh medium height, right, Hilda? Or tall. Okay, teacher. Or you can say quite quite tall, maybe. Es, es algo alto, algo alto, no, muy, muy alto, no, but quite tall, use the word quite, quite, right? And he has short, straight, black hair. Look, three adjectives, short, straight, black, right? Hair. And you can add other, other adjectives, Hilda, you can say short, straight, black, and beautiful hair, right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Hilda, for your commentary. Rolando, my neighbor is called... T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt. Yes, yes Rolando, 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 Rolando. Most bad in English. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, it's, uh, 
Don't speak aloud. Don't speak aloud. Uh, yes. don't, don't speak aloud, please. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> now, Rolando, uh, my neighbor is called Julie. Okay, she is beautiful. With ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, please. Entendí. Sí. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, my neighbor is called Julie, right? Ella va a comprar las tortillas a las cinco. El... Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, she is beautiful with red hair and very tall. She wear. She remember, uh, Rolando, before the the verb you need the the subject. She wears glasses. She wears. Okay. And. She is 45 years old, right? When we, wow, Rolando. <laughs> por más que le, por más que Comentary, queramos ser, por más que queramos ser discreto, ¿verdad, Rolando? Miren lo que ha puesto. <laughs> eh, Me da el número de su de esposa ahorita, ya le voy a escribir. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rolando. Thank you very much for your commentary, okay. right? Now let's go to the knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check, right? Now, remember the way we structure the, the question, right? Now, um, it says, write questions to match this statement, right? My brother is 26 years old. So in this case, you're going to use questions like, uh, what does he look like? How old is he? How old is she? Um, what what uh, color is his hair? What color is her hair? Um, and let me see. Only that, right? Now, and here, for example, you when you talk about age, right? For example, you can say, uh, uh, let me see, one student here, let me see. Um, Carlos, Carlos Cruz, for example, right? How old is Carlos, right? I can say, Carlos, you are like 30, 32, Carlos? No, 27. <laughs> ah, 39. 39, okay. So 39. So you say, listen, how old is, right? In this case, because Carlos is singular, only one person, right? So the same question here, right? You're going to ask, and, uh, but uh, Rolando, uh, aquí pusimos he, verdad, en lugar de my brother. Yes. He, right? Okay, so be careful. Eh, la plataforma no le va a aceptar si ponen my brother or your brother, sino que pónganle no, yeah. he, he. Rolando me ayuda, ¿verdad que he le resultó al final? Eh, déjeme ver, Piche, porque la había escrito aquí en el cuaderno. Okay. Si es que a veces, bueno, es correcto decir, how old is my, is your brother? How old is your brother? That's correct. A mí, a mí me lo puso correcto. Ah, va. Okay. Sí, sí teacher. La, sí. perdón. Entonces, your brother. El, eh, sí. No le aceptó como he. No. No. Ah, okay. la, ya le voy a decir your cuál brother. es la, la que me... Vaya, sigamos entonces. Sería your brother, ¿verdad? Y lo demás ya no se lo digo porque le estoy dando la, la copia. Your brother, sí. right? Your brother. Ok, good. And then, number two, I'm. I'm. So you're talking about you. You, right? So, this is height. Altura, right? And notice yes. the questions we made for height. Is, se, se ve bien difuso, pero. How tall is she? How tall is she? How tall is he? How tall are you? Okay? That's the way we make the question. How tall are you? No, no, no me lo dije, Rolando, no. Perdón. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry, don't <laughs> Sorry. worry. No, es que este, esta parte está difícil, porque hay que escribirlo. Yo la, sí. Sí, 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 entiendo, tío. Yo Ajá. la cuatro es la que no. La cuatro no es la que, no es la que le da, ¿verdad? Okay. Es la que topé. Vaya, y aquí vamos a usar el possessive de Sharon. We're going to say Sharon's hair. Sharon's hair. Ok. Sharon's hair. Entonces, vamos a completar la pregunta. Sharon has brown hair. So, the color, right? The color. And it's information question. Um, yeah, Roberto, ¿cómo le salió um, usted aquí? 
Eh, no, no, no he llegado a eso, pero ah. creo que sería um, What color Sharon's hair? What color? Ajá. Is Sharon's, pero es que lo, lo que quiero poner, yo les puedo dar la respuesta y todo, ¿verdad? Pero a veces eh, la forma en que la plataforma lo acepta. Oh, eh, yeah. Solo le voy a poner aquí, Sharon's hair. Lo demás uh -huh. ustedes lo ponen, ¿verdad? Pero para que la plataforma se lo dé correcto, pongan Sharon's hair. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Okay. And number four. Eh, Rolando, this is a yes, no question. La cuatro es una pregunta de sí y no. Porque... Yes, this, she No, she doesn't. Ella no usa. She wears contact lenses, right? She wears contact lenses. Déjeme ver un segundito. Vamos a... Por favor. No, okay. quiero, no quiero darle la copia exactamente, pero no quiero, quiero darle la pista correcta. Permítame, vamos a ver aquí. Vamos a, a chequear cuáles son las respuestas para... Ok, déjeme ver. Uh, contact lens, right? Uh, sí, eh, es una pregunta de sí y no. Sí, correcto. Y la cinco es... Eh, Sí, where he's tall and very good looking, right? Sí, esta está fácil. La seis. Uh, sí, está bien. Ok. What color? Yo la... Vaya. La cuatro y la nueve, sí. siete pouch. La cuatro y la nueve, ¿verdad? Sí. Um, ok, ya, ya la tenemos. Entonces, ahora sí vamos a, a compartirlo. Regálenme un segundito. Sorry, sorry, perdón por estar haciendo esto y hacerlos perder un poco de tiempo, pero esta parte está bien difícil. Ok. Hoy sí. Vaya. Aquí decíamos que era your brother, ¿verdad? En la 1. En la 2 sí. es... Uh, how tall, right? Y recuérdense que este es... I'm, y cuando contesto con I'm, la pregunta ya saben con qué va, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. ah, ya saben, ok. Y aquí, uh, Sharon has, eh, dijimos, what, what, decimos Sharon's hair, right? Sharon hair. Ok, y la cuatro, eh, está hablando de glasses. Glasses, por eso es que no, no le daba, Rolando. Porque si habla de, de, de lentes y él le dice no, ella no, le está diciendo que no usa lentes. Ella usa lentes de contacto. Yes, she wears contact lenses, right? Entonces, ustedes formúlenme la pregunta de sí no. No les voy a decir cuál es, ¿verdad? Pero tienen que poner wear glasses. Wear glasses. ¿Ok? Lo demás háganmelo ustedes. Rolando. Ok, teacher. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Where? Y aquí, en las cinco es fácil, ¿verdad? Ya vimos cuál era la pregunta. Eh, hagamos el caso de, de Alejandro. What does Alejandro look like? Ok. Entonces, la misma pregunta, oh, solo sustituyen a Alejandro por, por he. <ríe> ok. Look like, look like, right? Y aquí pues también hablamos de, de estatura, ¿verdad? Pero van a poner your sister. Lo largo. Mm, my, no, es, per, perdón, es your sister's hair. Your sister's hair. Your sister hair. Lo demás, ¿verdad? Aquí se lo voy a dejar para que usted lo termine. Pero es your sister's hair. Ok. Y aquí es what color, what color, what color, en the seven, what color. Lo demás, pues, se los dejo a ustedes, what color. Number eight, esta sí está fácil, ¿verdad? Pero es you, el sujeto es you, you, ¿ok? Perdón. You, híjole, ya se nos Ay. Y la nueve. Nah, es... Eh, Let me see. Esta es 
What does, otra vez vamos a usar a Alejandro de, de ejemplo. What does Alejandro look like? Solo que en lugar de Alejandro vamos a decir they. Y ya no vamos a usar da, sino que do. ¿Ok? ¿Sí me entienden? What sí. does. Sí, pero no es das. What... No, 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 no lo diga. No okay. lo diga, Rolando. Okay. Eh, para day, para day, ¿verdad? No, es que esa, esa es la que no tengo. O sea, ahí he topado sí, sí. ahorita. Vaya, pero solo le voy a hacer la, la de Alejandro. What does Alejandro look like? Look like. Entonces ustedes en lugar de poner das, van a poner el otro auxiliar. Y en lugar de poner Alejandro, van a poner day. ¿Sí? ¿Me okay. captan las pistas? ¿Me captan todas las pistas? Y aquí es fácil, ¿verdad? How tall. How tall y lo, lo demás pues hagan ustedes, ¿sí? <risa> okay. No sé si, si alguno eh, tiene problemas con algún ítem todavía. Todavía nos queda un minuto. Este ejercicio, sure, eh. este ejercicio está difícil. ¿Saben qué? Mañana lo vamos a hacer juntos, pero quiero que lo terminen o esta noche o mañana, antes de la clase. Y lo hacemos todos juntos porque está un poco, un poco complejo, ¿verdad? Tisher, en ese minuto puedes puede repetir un poquito más la número cuatro. La número cuatro. La cuatro es, sí. una es de yes, no. Sí, yes, no. Y... Eh, no le voy a decir cuál auxiliar va a usar, pero para sí ya sabe cuál auxiliar, ¿verdad? Y va a preguntar, wear glasses, wear glasses. Ok. Vaya, lo voy a hacer a usted, Rolando. Do you wear glasses? Do you yes. wear glasses? No, I don't. I wear contact lenses. Va, ahí está la respuesta. Solo que en lugar de decir you, va a poner she, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, hoy sí me la captó, Rolando. Sí. Va. Sí, es que lo malo que no puedo darle la respuesta, porque ustedes tienen que, que hacerla por cuenta propia. Good. Any extra question, class? Sí, señor. Ajá. ¿Rolando? No. Perdón, no, no, aquí la, la mascota. Ah, vale. Firulais. <ríe> Any extra Firulais. question, class? No, teacher, no questions. No. Thanks. Okie dokie. So, eh, see you tomorrow and God bless you. God bless you, teacher. Have a Thank good you. Night. Blessings. Good night, teacher. Bless good you. night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Good night.